Well, this is the, oh, that's the procedure that we use to uh, slowly, you peel the plantain. Well, some may say plantains. You cut it diagonally. And uh, sometimes it depends on the size. This one, would, this was a small one, so. I cut it in three pieces diagonally. Okay? <clears throat> Basically, what you would do is just, you dip it in grease, you fry it for about five minutes. Add about 350. You don't want to rush it, okay? And of course, you just always, every time you, you just clean up after yourself, so you don't have to do it later when you're tired, okay? Alrighty. Okay. You are now taking out the plantains that are half fried. Remember, this is a two-step process, okay guys? So, basically, I'm just gonna dump them on this tray here, stainless steel. You guys may not have a deep fryer at home. You could always use a, uh, a regular frying pan, a wok, or anything that can hold and sustain the heat. In this case, I'll take this and uh, we'll begin the smashing process, okay? Just gonna lay it in the smasher and then go from here and then basically smash it. Once you smash it, take your time and uh, you can have something like this, which is your choice, or okay, it'll come out like that. Hit the stonus, okay. That's going to go back in the pan, or you can just basically smash it nice and easy. You don't have to go so big, okay. Look at that. Big difference, right? There we go. Put that back in the fryer. Remember, it is a two-step process, okay? You're gonna do the last one, okay? Again, regular size, right? You're gonna fry them again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video We'll be right back when it's done. Okay. Guys, take a look at this. I know you don't have a deep fryer at home, but I tell you what, you can have this done, like I said before, in any frying pan, a wok, a choice of your own. Look at that. Are these tostones or what? Okay, these are what we call, well, fried plantains, banan free in French, and there it is. Now, right before the video, uh, right before I put these the second time in the oil, you have a choice. You can, right at the process, you can actually dip these things in salt water, or you can dip them in salt and garlic to give it more flavor. I didn't do that simply because some people don't like garlic and some people don't like salt or some people can't eat salt. So there it is. It's bland. I didn't add any flavors to it, but I tell you what, the crunch, you better believe it is there. Okay, guys? So until next time, this is John from Grab and Go, Haitian Free Thai in Orlando. And uh, I want you guys to subscribe. Hey, click whether you like it or not. 
See you in the next video.